News tonight, the Green Bay Board of Education held a special meeting this evening with just one item on the agenda, a masking policy for the new school year. Local 5's Eric Richards was there and shows us the tense moments after the votes were in. The Green Bay Area School Board held a special session Monday to vote on a masking policy as students and staff head into the 2021-2022 school year. I hope that it's done. Like, there's no more masks. These kids get to breathe. And truthfully, I hope it's not even suggested. Barbara Larson joined nearly 100 other parents or relatives of students within the district to hear the board speak on their proposed plan. Ask that, uh, that we're respectful during the conversation that will take place tonight. Also just want to point out uh, it is within board policy to have signs. Uh, at board meetings, they cannot block the, the view of anyone in the meetings. The first proposal, making masking optional for all students and staff in the district, did not pass. I will start the meeting by moving that effective August 17th, 2021, that face coverings for students, staff, adult visitors, and contractors shall be one, strongly recommended for unvaccinated inv individuals but not required on district premises. A revised summer policy passed with making masking optional for students and staff in grades 7 and above. Students and staff in grades 6 and below, masking is still required. The biggest difference between uh, the policy that we passed tonight in summer is the, the optional masking for uh, staff uh, and students 7th and 8th grade. Uh, so we were already optional at the high school. This now uh, adds 7th and 8th graders. To which some are still displeased. <laughs> I think if the vaccine works, then why do we mask? If we don't, you know, have to have the vaccine, well, then the masks should work. I just, I feel like they're just continuing to overreach. The school board could revisit the topic if certain circumstances arise. Based upon the feedback tonight, um, you know, vaccine eligibility is it seems to be a, a big decision point for those students. Uh, we're hearing that uh, younger uh, children will be eligible for that vaccine. So as soon as that information comes out and we start to understand what vaccine eligibility looks like for our youngest students, um, I it would imagine that we would revisit the issue. Eric Richards, Local 5 News. And again, the new policy for Green Bay Public Schools goes into effect August 17th.